In this tutorial I will show you my workflow from Quixel Mixer into Unreal Engine. I show you how to set up these textures and apply them the correct way and then you can do this as well with any model. Last video we took our model from Blender and then took it into Quixel Mixer and textured it right here. If you want to see how we did that you can look at the link in the description and follow along and then just go with here. Now, if you're happy with your settings right here, you can go to export and export to disk or file quick export. But I like to do this in a different way when exporting this to Unreal Engine. I like to go here to advanced texture setup and then I'm going to choose the maps that I need. The albedo is a color one and then I need the normal map. The other maps I'm going to combine in a different map. Just go here to add map and let's name this one metal roughness and ambient occlusion because these can be together in the red, green and blue value. So the red value is going to be the metalness, the green value is going to be the roughness and the blue value is going to be the ambient occlusion. This saves space and will render faster like this into a game engine. So now I actually have three maps which are one, two, three, four, five maps in actuality. So I like to open my folder after exporting and uh, save this to the desktop. Look at these settings. These are all fine for me and then export to disk. Okay, great. And now you can go to Unreal Engine. I have a different map for this. Right click and then import. And I'm going to import my model from earlier. Import this model into Unreal Engine. And we can just drag this out like this. And we are going to create a material. Right click create a material, for example, table material or something like that. Okay. And then let's already apply this material to this table top right here. And then we are going to need our files into Unreal Engine. Just select and drag them right in. So the albedo is the color, which looks fine. Then the metalness, roughness and ambient occlusion. Remember, the red one was our metalness, the green one was our roughness map, and blue the ambient occlusion, which we don't really have right now, but if you have a different model or texture set, this will be in there probably. And then also the normal map, just like this. Okay, so let's grab these three textures, then we're going to need to drag them into our table material, just like this. Okay. So, this one, by the way, you can hover over and then see albedo is the base color. This one is the normal map. And this is we set up in red, green and blue. Remember, right here. Red, green, blue. Metal, roughness, ambient occlusion. So, metal, roughness and ambient occlusion. And I like to set it up like this so I don't have wires crossing except this normal value. but. I mean from this texture sample and then hit apply and now when I look inside of my game you can see my tabletop right here let's do something that I can do at home and then you can see the metal is applied to the table and the wood is applied to the table so right now we brought our Quixel mixer texture map into Unreal Engine